Hey guys, how are we all doing? It's Cam back at you again. Today we're checking out the gorgeous Charvel DK24 2-point HSH in Satin Orange Crush. Stick around. So many of you guys wanted to know about the HSH variation of this guitar. Obviously this is in Satin Orange Crush. Uh, about a month ago I did a review and demo of the HSS variation of this guitar in Primer Grey. It's an absolutely brilliant guitar, so many of you loved it. And the video was actually shared on Charvel's website, blog and Facebook I think. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, it's really really good, uh, a lot of you love that guitar. And so many of you were curious about this one. And before we get into the specs, one thing I should mention with them is they're absolutely awesome. They nailed everything. The body contouring, fit, finish, feel, sound, they're, ace. they're just really brilliant all-round guitars. Uh, starting off with the specs, we have Charvel branded locking tuners, a tusk nut, a two-piece caramelized maple neck, and a caramelized maple fingerboard with a compound radius stretching from 12 to 16. And for those of you who have never Witness caramelized maple before. It smells awesome. Really, really love it. It's absolutely fantastic. It smells like wood smoke, or at least it's been burnt anyway. It's really, really great. Anyway, uh, we have 24 jumbo frets. And should you, on the rare occasion that your caramelized maple neck should move, we have a thumb wheel truss rod adjustment down here. Not that it, you'd ever need to use it really. Caramelized maple is known for being pretty much immune to climatic changes, so you're all good. Uh, we have obviously the dinky body shape here, which is a tad smaller than a conventional Strat. And one thing that should be recognized with these guitars is the attention they've paid to uh, body contouring and upper fret access. We have a sculpted heel here, starting from, uh, literally, it's hard to capture on camera, but it starts there. And comes right the way around, gets really, really deep here, so it's perfect for upper fret access. And a really deep belly cut here, so it practically hugs you, it's really, really great. Obviously this is the HSH style here. We have a, full sh a Seymour Duncan full shred in the bridge, a custom flat strat in the middle, and an Alnico 2 Pro in the neck. Uh, we have a five-way position switch to switch between them. Uh, just to give you the positions, we have in the bridge position, we've got the uh, full neck humbucker. Second position, we've got in a, in a coil of the bridge pickup and the middle pickup. Middle position, you get middle pickup on its own. Fourth position, you get middle pickup and the outer coil of the neck pickup. And in the fifth position, you get neck humbucker on its own. Whereas with the HSS variation of the guitar, it's another custom flat strat in the neck. And overall, it captures the some telly sounds, some strat sounds, and also has the heavy rock, full humbucker goodness. It's brilliant. We also have a volume and a tone. The volume, fully enough, a unique feature to the DK24 range is not only the lumen lays on the side, which I forgot to mention, uh, the glow in the dark, which is absolutely ace, but also we have an EVH Borns low friction pot. And one thing that's absolutely awesome with these is the uh, its ability to clean out. Uh, they clean out so naturally. Uh, uh, every guitar I've played with an EVH Borns pot on, uh, I don't know if that's responsible, but it seems to be the common theme, uh, that they clean out really, really naturally. And so if you want to be full rock and then dip the volume down, it's great for that. We have a no-load tone knob as well, which is great. So if you don't use a tone knob, just keep it all the way up, because that means it's off. Whereas if you turn it down a little bit, it engages and you've got a fully uh, functioning tone knob here. Uh, we also have a Goto 510 bridge, which is absolutely awesome. Uh, it was a favourite bridge of Guthrie Govens for many years. Uh, except he had, he admitted, the uh, vintage, uh, the bent steel saddles, the vintage ones, which he said didn't st hold tune quite as well as the modern ones that are on here. Uh, so you've got really great tuning stability, and it's rock solid in fact, and it goes really well with the locking tuners up here. They've not skimped on anything, it's absolutely brilliant, it's so comfortable, everything, the roll fingerboard edges, you can bend for miles, 
It's just fantastic. I highly urge you to check them out. Let's get into some sounds. <laughs> So much for watching this video, you guys. If you've liked what you've seen, make sure to check out the review of the Primer Grey HSS. I know you'll love it. Check out some of my other lessons, tutorials, and covers as well. I'll be back at you again next time. Please like, subscribe.